In this paper, we introduce the use of eyes for relighting. Consider the image of a person. Each eye in this image reflects the world around the person into the camera. That is, the cornea of an eye and a camera viewing the eye form a mirror plus lens imaging system. We first find the 3D location and orientation of the eye by fitting a 2D ellipse to its contour in the image. We assume the cornea to be a normal one, in which case its surface is ellipsoidal and highly reflective. Using this model of the cornea, we can trace back into the scene each ray that is reflected into the camera by the cornea. As a result, from an image which contains at least one open eye, we can compute a wide field of view environment map of the surrounding scene. This environment map represents the scene's illumination distribution with respect to the eye. In other words, the eye can be used as a light probe. We now demonstrate the use of the eye as a light probe in different relighting scenarios. Using the illumination computed from my eye, we can insert any object in the scene such that its appearance is consistent with the rest of the objects in the scene. Please observe the shadows cast on my face and cast on the table by the object. The eye is particularly useful as a probe when we want to relight faces. Since the eye lies on the face, we can sample the appearance of a face by simply waving a lamp in front of the person. We first compute the light source direction for each image from one of the eyes. Then we fit a reflectance model to the data captured at each pixel to obtain its albedo and surface normal. By integrating the surface normals, we obtain a 3D geometric model of the face. Using the 3D model and the albedo map, we can render the face under arbitrary viewing and lighting conditions. Note that all we did to sample the face was to wave a lamp around it. No special equipment was required. Consider an already captured image, such as this one from the movie Roman Holiday. We have no physical access to the actual location where the image was taken. In such cases, the eye may be the only source of illumination information. Once again, we locate the contour of the cornea in the image and compute the environment map. Using this environment map as the illumination distribution, we render a different person's face. Then, we can replace Gregory Peck's face with the new face. Here, only the face region was replaced and the ears and the hair were retained from the original image. One can see that the shading of the replaced face is consistent with that of the original face. Here is another example. This original image was taken from the movie Amelie. In this case, we can see a large area light source in the computer environment map. Using this as the illumination, we relighted another person's face and replaced the original image with a new face. The color matching and gamma correction was done manually. Once again, note that the lighting of the replaced face is consistent with the original face. The examples in this video show the various ways in which eyes can be used for relighting.